My name is Melissa Nelson Baldwin, and I am co-owner of South Bend Industrial Hemp in Great Bend, Kansas. Who are you farming with, and how long have you been doing hemp? We are basically three entities. We have Performance Crop Research. I'm a crop research scientist and I work with developmental products and bringing those to market. Uh, the two other co-owners of South Bend Industrial Hemp are Aaron and Richard Baldwin, my husband and brother-in-law, and they are four generation farmers with Circle K Farming Partnership. And then we have South Bend Industrial Hemp, which is the three of us combined. How many crops do you grow? We grow about a half of a dozen. Our main crops are corn, wheat, soy, milo, and industrial hemp. How did you get into the hemp project? We were just looking for a way to diversify our farm. Uh, crop prices were extremely low in 2018, and so we saw it as another avenue and revenue source for our farm. Your, your husband indicated that he, he thought it was more of a good idea than you did when it started. So how did, how did it get started? When him and Richard originally thought of this idea and brought it to me because in Kansas in 2019 the licenses were research licenses and so I was an integral part of that research license and filling out the paperwork and being able to do the back end side with the state and achieving those licenses. When they originally brought the idea to me I didn't really think hemp had a lot of merit within the state. I really didn't like the direction that it was headed. And honestly, it was because I was uneducated. You know, I directly correlated hemp with marijuana. I did not realize the differences. So once I started educating myself, that is one of the reasons I'm very passionate about education, farm tours, and really just letting the public realize the potential of industrial hemp because I know I was misinformed. In saying that, what's going to happen later today in your statement that you are a part of uh, leading tours and informing the public and educating people? Yeah, so we do over 100 tours on our farm every, every season, so basically from April through October, and we actually have a group of high schoolers coming for a crop productions class. Tell me that background of yours, educational background. I have my bachelor's in biology and my master's in agriculture. Uh, I'm a crop research scientist, so what I do is I work on small plots and in any crop that you can grow in Kansas, I'm independent and clients hire me to collect data on whatever product that they're developing and would like to submit to the EPA. The hip crop, once you walk, walk up on it, it's a big, tall crop. Um, so there's a lot of biomass, but if you go to just industrial, what can you do with all that biomass? So there's a lot of different things that you can do. Um, we don't really call it biomass because that is more of the cannabinoid side of the industry. But when you're talking in terms of industrial hemp, you can utilize fiber production, the, which is the outside of the stalk. You can use the inside of the stalk, which is the herd. And then you can also utilize the grain, which are the seeds that are produced at the top of the plant have any questions you know where to find us south bend industrial hemp on facebook south bend hemp on instagram or southbendindustrialhemp.com